In this video, you will learn the mechanism of action of acetaminophen and acetaminophen's side effects. Pharmacology can be challenging to learn about in nursing school, so we're going to break it down really super simple for you step by step so that you can finally understand it. So don't worry, my friend, you don't need to figure everything out alone anymore for nursing school. We are here to help you every step of the way. And if you need more help with learning pharmacology in nursing school, be sure to download this free pharmacology cheat sheet that we have for you that walks you through step by step how to learn pharmacology for nursing school. Now the link is down below in the description for you to check out all the details. Now hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell and I'm going to pass you on over to our lead nurse Nicole who's going to walk you through acetaminophen. All right now let's talk about acetaminophen. The generic name acetaminophen, the trade names Tylenol, Ofermev and MAPAP. The pharmacologic class is a non-opioid analgesic and an antipyretic, and the therapeutic class is an antipyretic. The indications for acetaminophen or what acetaminophen is used for is treatment of mild to moderate pain and treatment of fever. The mechanism of action of acetaminophen is not fully understood, but it's thought to inhibit the synthesis of prostaglandins which are the main component responsible for pain, inflammation, and fever within the central nervous system. It's thought that acetaminophen only affects the prostaglandins in the central nervous system, not systemic, which is why it does not help with inflammation. It is also thought that by inhibiting the prostaglandins, it stimulates the serotonin pathways within the central nervous system and helps to increase serotonin levels, which is that feel-good hormone. The therapeutic effect of acetaminophen is a decrease in pain and a decrease in fever. Some side effects you'll want to watch out for with acetaminophen are that most can occur from the IV form of acetaminophen or Ofermev. They can be agitation and anxiety, especially in kids. It's not fully understood why this happens, but it's thought to be because of the changes in the central nervous system by inhibiting the prostaglandins. GI upset can happen as well when taking acetaminophen. Increased LFTs can happen because the liver is where acetaminophen is metabolized. And if there is prolonged use or higher than recommended doses, it can be very caustic to the liver. A rash or Steven Johnson syndrome can happen with hypersensitivity reactions as well. For your nursing assessment with acetaminophen, you're gonna to wanna to do a thorough pain assessment before and following the administration of the acetaminophen. Monitor for increased risk factors for liver, monitor for increased risk factors for liver damage, such as alcoholism or malnutrition. This would increase their risk of developing liver damage when using acetaminophen. Monitor for any skin changes or rash because Steven Johnson syndrome can develop. Monitor for improvement in pain or a decrease in fever it usually takes 30 to 60 minutes to take effect when it's taken orally. Major contraindications for taking acetaminophen would be decreased liver function and severely decreased renal function. Alcoholism, hypovolemia, and malnutrition are serious risk factors as well. Patient education for acetaminophen would be to have your patient take it exactly as recommended and not to exceed the daily max dose as this can be toxic to the liver. For adults, do not exceed 4,000 milligrams per day. Also be aware that there are many medications that contain acetaminophen, both over-the-counter and prescription, such as Sudafed, Theraflu, or Vicodin. This should be considered to avoid accidental overdose. It should not be taken longer than 10 days for adults or five days for kids unless it is prescribed. You should avoid alcohol while taking acetaminophen because it can increase your risk of liver damage. It is also very important to check concentrations of the liquid form. There is a children's versus an infant drops and the dosage should be based on weight specifically for children. Nursing considerations for acetaminophen is that the IV form has more side effects than the PO form. Be sure not to exceed the daily maximum dosage and double check the weight-based dosing for children. For any overdose, you would give acetylcysteine. 
Now, if you want to deep dive into all of the other medications that you need to learn in nursing school, these are the ones that are going to show up on your exam, my friend. Do not miss out on the medication database that we have for you inside the Nursing SOS membership community. And of course, there are three ways that I can help you more through nursing school. Number one, download this free cheat sheet that walks you through the step-by-step -step process for learning medications. Do not miss that. And number two, definitely check out the pharmacology box that we have for you that has flashcards, a whole medication reference guide, step-by-step -step guide for how to study farm. It's really going to help you be more confident and faster with learning your medications. And of course, if you want me to hold your hand through nursing school, do not miss out on joining the Nursing SOS membership community. It is packed with step-by-step -step nursing lectures to help you understand everything faster so you'll be more prepared for your exams. Now, the links to all of those things are down below in the description. And if you liked this video, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment below, of course, to let me know that you loved it, share it with your friends, and of course, click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. Click on one of these videos right over here so you can keep rocking nursing school. And as always, my friend, go become the nurse that God created only you to be. And I'll see you next time on the Nursing School Show. Take care. Bye-bye.